All right, now Game Builder Studio is a uh, visual uh, tool uh, to make it easy for people to make games. However, there's developers out there uh, that you know would prefer to customize the game and and uh, write their own custom code. So I'm going to show you how powerful Game Builder Studio is, and how flexible it is to allow you to integrate your own code, um, and you know and and manipulate the game however you want. You can use you know previous game code if you have it or what have you. So I'm just going to launch the game here and show you what we're going to be creating. I wrote a um, my own custom UI code and added it to the game. And you'll see it here as I build from Game Builder Studio. And I have this touch interface here that will be used when I put this on the iPad and the Blackberry. And it allows you to do the same controls as if you were using the keyboard. Now let me show you how I did that. I'm going to jump over to Flash Builder. And in Flash Builder, I imported my project, my, my uh, Game Builder Studio project. So let me let me open the file folder to show you where that is. In Game Builder Studio's project folder, you have the Game Builder Studio file and you have a bin folder here that has um, a default Flash Builder project um, and the source code that is exported from Game Builder Studio when you build the game. You also have your resources folder here with, with all the files um, you know that are used in your game. Now you don't have to use Flash Builder but that's just what I choose to use and it, and it exports a default Flash Builder project. Um, now this is the main class of the Asteroids demo project in Game Builder Studio and it extends a base class that gets overwritten and has some logic in it uh, from Game Builder Studio. You don't want to touch this file. This is going to be overwritten um, you know whenever you build a game and it has things in here where it defines some screens you know it, it has listeners for when the event gets loaded and things like that now you could just override this startup uh, method here and write your own custom startup code if you want and you know what have you so it's flexible there and you want to put your code you know at this top level now I, I also have a uh, game screen class here that's at a top level that extends uh, the base game screen class that uh, has custom code in it as well and this is where I added all my UI code and you can see here I have a pa I have uh, a custom package here for events I have a custom event that I created that's used by my custom thumb control UI um, class that I created um, it fires an event and I can listen to that you know right here in the game screen class where I added this control and I just added the the control to the game screen because the game screen is a sprite. Um, so just like any normal Flash game. And, you know, I'm listening for change events on that and, and controlling the, uh, or, or actually broadcasting keyboard events depending on where the uh, control is. So let me show you if I just, I can just launch this right here from Flash Builder. And it's the same thing I see in Game Boy Studio. Now, let me show you how I can actually grab values from the the uh, code that I or the logic that I set up in Game Boy Studio. So, in in Game Boy Studio, on the gunship entity, I have a component called uh, ship values, and it has a speed property. So, let me show you how I can go and grab that property and and uh, change that on the fly. I have some code here that uses the PBE static class to look up the ent entity called gunship and then I can look up the component by the name of the component and access the property on it. Now there's a lot of documentation out there um, on how to use push button engine and I've recorded some videos so you know you can look read up on that and, and on the on the support site as well we have a section understanding the underlying game engine um, you know so that you can you know know the ins and outs of how push button engine work you can you know pull components and affect properties and if I launch this my ship should automatically start moving a lot faster than I defined it in game of the I can even bump that up even higher The 
have full control over your project. You can import whatever classes you want and, and customize the way it loads. You can override you know the the startup methods and and have it load in different sequences you can you know you can look in the base class and and see that okay i have you know just a basic game screen defined and i'm loading level 0 which is the the first level by default but you can just completely override this entire thing you know in the uh subclass and load you know load whichever level you want or define additional screens if you want you know it's it's completely up to you so um, that's I mean that's a very powerful feature in game Builder studio and and, uh, and allows you to to really uh, mold it and, and bend it to your own to your own will